Hello and welcome to this introduction to counselling. Counselling is a confidential helping relationship where you can talk about the problems and emotional difficulties you're facing in your life. Importantly, a counsellor will rarely listen to you. Listening sounds simple, but good listening isn't quite as easy as it sounds. How easy is it to find someone who rarely listens to your problems and your emotional difficulties? How easy is it to find someone that you feel safe enough with to expose your closely guarded thoughts and feelings and share your hurts. As a good listener, your counsellor will focus on you and what you need. She'll use her expertise to help you explore and work on the problems and emotional difficulties you're facing without judging you. She won't pretend to be the expert on your life. Sometimes that can feel a little frustrating. You may be thinking, why won't she just give me some advice, tell me what to do? But if she did, you'd be relying on her to sort out your problems. Whereas counselling is really about helping you to work on them yourself. But what does working on them mean? Well, it could mean exploring the anger you feel towards your partner and then being able to say something to him or her that doesn't just lead to another unpleasant argument. Or it could mean learning how to care for yourself when you get anxious. It could also mean being supported to get in touch with the pain of losing a loved one and then finding the courage to say goodbye. So counselling is about self-development. It's about you becoming better at dealing with problems in, for example, your close relationships, and better at coping with difficult emotions like grief and anxiety. Counselling is about helping you to get better at living your life. To help you understand more about counselling, we invited six people to share their experiences with us. Um, I got attacked recently and had loads of feelings bottled up that I needed to let out, but didn't want to speak to anyone related to me or at home. Um, and I felt that going to see a counsellor would be the best thing to do? Well, my life had undergone so many changes in quite a short period of time. I would got married and had children and started a new job. And I just felt like my confidence had really plummeted and my self-esteem had gone through the floor. I didn't feel like the person I used to be. So I, I just thought that talking to somebody and talking about everything that happened might, might help. As a teacher, I, I was finding that when some of the students were coming to me and, and asking for some sort of help or guidance, that listening to them seemed to invoke some sort of feelings within myself. And I was going on my feelings more so than going on their feelings when I was trying to give them the help they needed. So in the end, I, I, I thought, well, I really do need to sort myself out first before I could even begin to think about helping someone else. So I came to counseling. Um, I suffered a bereavement. My partner passed over. And um, as at that time, you know, you just really go into a quite tender space. And um, I threw myself into work and I just thought, oh, if I'd just be busy, you know, then those feelings of grief will. Um, you know, be managed. But um, I found the weekends really, really difficult. And um, so I, I, I really felt that I needed some help to actually deal with these feelings, this, this mood and this huge vacuum in my life. 
I first considered counselling when I, uh, well, it was my first real breakup where I was ending the relationship myself and uh, I broke up with her, but I still felt the same feelings of uh, kind of guilt and uh, rejection and, uh, and lost a lot of confidence, even though I ended the relationship on my terms. And this was confusing because obviously I didn't expect that um, when I was doing the breaking up. Uh, and this made me realise that I had kind of, uh, kind of made me see my problem really and, uh, and this kind of fear I had, uh, which was affecting how I slept and stuff like that. And so um, I, I didn't want to go to parents because they were too close. I didn't want to go to friends because they had their own opinions. And uh, the most, I kind of felt like I had to see, have a more kind of objective and impersonal approach from anyone else who'd be willing to listen because otherwise I was just going to be going in circles on my own. When um, my father passed away and my grandmother passed away, who were two of the people I trusted, um, I felt really lost and everything was getting on top of me. So I um, exp expressed this to my friend who asked me why I was looking so down and she suggested counselling. So how do you go about finding a counsellor? Choosing the right counsellor is important and you may well visit more than one counsellor before finding the person with whom you feel comfortable and who will be able to give you the help you need. Some of the factors that you should check are the counsellor's level of training and their membership of an appropriate professional association. This will mean that they are properly insured and will follow an ethical code of practice. Counsellors adopt different approaches to their work. There are three major approaches, humanistic, psychodynamic and cognitive behavioural. Within each approach, there are discrete models. For example, person-centred or transpersonal. These relate to different ways of thinking about how people develop and manage their lives and reflect the diversity and complexity of people's experiences. To help you understand why this diversity of approach is valuable and important, you can compare counselling with art. Artists all adopt different ways of expressing their creativity and we respond by being drawn to one type of art rather than another. In the same way, counselling requires a creative approach to each unique counselling relationship with each individual person. Regardless of which approach you choose, the relationship that you develop with your counsellor is the most important element in the counselling process. If you think about it, that's not so surprising. You need to feel really comfortable with and confident in your counsellor if you are going to work well together. When you're looking for a counsellor, try to ask yourself what kind of relationship you might want to develop with them. Probably one in which you will feel safe and supported as well as being challenged. Because my mum's a counsellor, um, I've always known of counselling um, and she recommended someone for me to go and see. Um, my older sister also recommended someone else for me to go and see. Um, so I made an appointment with my mum's choice and went along 